Uh, it wasn't positive when I got on, so an antigen test might have just be sufficient. I had to be fully vaccinated and have a PCR test to get on the plane, so I don't know why we had to get it when I landed as well. At Toronto's Pearson International Airport, these travellers say they don't mind getting tested for COVID-19, but say getting more than one test might be overdoing it. Some medical experts agree. I think at this point in time, uh, doing uh, PCR testing at airports is a very low yield type of uh, endeavour. Travellers currently have to provide a negative PCR test to enter Canada. Many also take a government funded PCR test when they land. The week of December 19th, more than 100,000 fully vaccinated travellers were tested. Just over 2% were positive for COVID-19. I would love to see the personnel that we're using to um, detect travellers as a screening tool be used and employed for pop-ups and places where people with symptoms could get testing. Experts say with Omicron already widespread across Canada, travel is no longer a significant source of spread and that Ottawa could better target its resources. Identify people in the community who are at the highest risk for hospitalization if they become symptomatic. Still, when asked today, Health Minister Jean-Yves Duclos said the government remains committed to mass arrival testing. We have the responsibility to make sure that there is as little importation as possible of of COVID-19 and Omicron cases across the border. If arrival testing continues, some experts say Canada should consider doing away with PCRs. Let's pivot to rapid. It's cheaper, it's faster, and it doesn't absorb resources that we so desperately need in Canada. Other countries are changing their rules. Last week, England revised its requirements. Fully vaccinated travelers need only submit a negative rapid test within two days of their arrival. Nisha Patel, CBC News, Toronto.